civil society organizations operating in the East African community are greatly concerned by the current health situation in the East African community due to the lack of a regulation for industrially produced trans fatty acids. This alarms the Uganda National Health Consumers Organization, International Institute for Legislative Affairs and the Tanzania Women Lawyers Association and should equally alarm any well-meaning East African. A delegation of this platform has submitted a petition to the retired Honorable Speaker of ELA in the quest of getting the support needed to advocate for this matter in the region as some of the members stipulate on the microphone of our colleague Eddie Saviti, who is in Kampala. The acid. We have found from the research we've done and what WHO has done, it shows that the trans fatty acid is increasing adiposity heart diseases. The intake, there is increased intake in not only Uganda but in the entire East African countries. But because also there is a trans, trans border trade, you find some products that we consume in Uganda come from Kenya. Actually, 80% of the trans fatty acids products come from Kenya. So we want a regional regulation that can uh, help regulate some of these companies from producing those, uh, from producing those trans fats. So we, yeah, we want the, the assembly to consider two options WHO recommends. One is to ban uh, importation and production of partially hydrogenated oils. The second one is to limit the addition of transfers to only 2%. What we did in the, in the three countries, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, we found that almost our food products that have transfers, they go up to like 40%. 40 yet, uh, WHO recommends only 2%. So we want, this is issues urgent, and we want uh, it addressed urgently by the YALA, but also on the, the bill. Children should not be aggressively advertised to products that aggressively harm them. We don't want to also see children being used as pawns to advertise harmful products. We as health consumers also know for a fact that there are other products energy foods, sugary foods, and salt foods, all being advertised to children. Children should be protected from this. The other is, we know for a fact that um, East African partner states, in their legislative framework, they should adopt frameworks that ensure that we protect our citizens, from these particular products. East Africa will never benefit if all of us die from exposure of tobacco or any other products that harm us. Trans fatty acids or such fats, oils, and the like are going to kill us and we may never realize the harmonization of the East African community. We know that the East African Legislative Assembly has every mandate to call it upon all its East African partners or even look at all its boundaries to ensure that its citizens are protected from this particular harmful product. For the Honorable Jacqueline Amogin, a member of ELA Uganda chapter, this call comes in timely as the health of East African matters for ELA members before she assures her advocacy for our legislation in the East African community. So this is a petition that we are going to, to look at and we will definitely get back to the Uganda Health uh, Consumers Association. They have also raised an issue in regards to the bill on standardization, accreditation and conformity assessment, Bill 2023. And we, as the, as the regional assembly, we are also going to expedite on this bill and also address some of the concerns that are uh, that were not addressed in this bill. So uh, I think this is a good way to, to proceed. And when this is addressed, that means we will be addressing issues of standardization within the whole region and also trans, transboundary fatty acids within the whole of East Africa. Because what affects Ugandans affects the rest of the other 
countries since we are trading in goods and services and there is a lot of movements within the whole region.